North Korean troops, who are already taking part in battles in the Kursk region, probably will be involved directly in combat operations on the Ukrainian territory occupied by the Russian Federation. This is reported by CNN with reference to one of the Ukrainian commanders. It is reported that soldiers from the DPRK take part in direct combat operations in Kursk region as well as in defensive operations in the neighboring Belgorod region and in the Russian-occupied Ukrainian territories. Basically, the tasks are defined as the second echelon of defense. As for Kursk region, these are combat operations directly. CNN quoted its interlocutor as saying, according to him, there are specialist artillerymen and snipers among the personnel. The Ukrainian commander also told reporters that these groups will be directly involved in combat operations on Ukrainian territory in the near future. There is a high probability of their appearance in the occupied territories of Ukraine as well, the serviceman said. The Ukrainian commander also emphasized that the North Korean military are a significant resource for Russia's war against Ukraine. Those soldiers from the DPRK who will be involved in the defense will allow Russia to redeploy its troops for operations on other parts of the front. Subsequently, they will also be used directly in combat. According to military standards, these are three full-blooded brigades. Thus, the occupants can remove 10,000 soldiers from the second line of defense put soldiers from the DPRK there and send these three brigades to the front line. It is also reported that the Russian Federation has concentrated tens of thousands of people, including North Korean soldiers, to attack Ukrainian positions in Kursk region of the Russian Federation. The US believes the offensive will begin in the coming days. A Ukrainian commander told CNN that North Korean troops were taking part in direct combat operations in Kursk as well as defensive operations in the neighboring Belgorod region of Russia and in Russian-occupied Ukrainian territories. Mostly, the tasks are defined as the second echelon of defense. In the Kursk region, these are direct combat operations, he said, adding that among the personnel were specialist artillerymen and snipers. He said the North Korean troops were a significant resource for Russia's war on Ukraine, as even those being deployed defensively would free up Russian troops for assault operations elsewhere and would themselves eventually be used in direct combat. Five people were found shot to death inside three homes in the same area of Wichita, Kansas and police believe the shootings are connected and that the victims all knew each other. Police were called to a report of a shooting Sunday evening and found a man dead inside a home. Officers following up on his death went to a home a few blocks away and found three other people dead. Officers canvassing that neighborhood looked into the window of a third home and saw a fifth victim. Wichita police chief said one of the people found dead Sunday was the suspected shooter, and added that they believe the investigation will determine that one of those victims was the shooter of all the other victims. This is a tragic incident. Uh, this is a senseless act that you know uh, that you know some families right now are are you know dealing with. And you know again, we we want to show some respect to them uh, because we are still investigating. Unfortunately, I have five victims who are deceased from gunshots and we believe that the investigation will determine that one of those victims was the shooter of all the other victims but it's just too early on in the investigation for us to make a statement as to who we believe that is but we have, we have strong direction an early sunday shooting at tuskegee university in alabama left one person dead and injured 16 others 12 of them wounded by gunfire authorities said. The victim of the shooting, an 18-year-old man, was not a university student, but some of those who were injured were. No arrests were immediately announced. Twelve people were wounded by gunfire, and four others sustained injuries not related to the gunshots, the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency said in a Sunday afternoon update. 
The FBI joined the investigation and said it is seeking tips from the public, as well as any video witnesses might have. It set up a site online for people to upload video. The shooting happened as the historically black university's 100th homecoming week was winding down. Tuskegee University announced that all classes Monday have been cancelled. Grief counselors will be available to help students in the university's chapel.